I'm sorry. You need to put him down. You need to put him down. Hey! I get it drunk, but did you, like, actually handcuff me and prove that I was drunk? I think she's nursing one of the babies right now. There's five. Do you hear all my kids? Mm-hmm. I do. You don't care? No, I do care very much. When a woman is pulled over out of suspicion that she's driving under the influence, police are shocked to discover five screaming and crying children in the back seat of her car. <coughs> Soon, the officer's focus shifts away from the woman and toward finding care for the distressed children. The scene is one of utter chaos. That breaks my heart that that precious little baby it's April 23rd, 2023, and it's a calm, cool Monday night in the peaceful family community of Newberry, Florida. Yet, when a woman looks out her window, she finds her backyard aglow in the lights of a car parked haphazardly in her yard. The driver of the car, 29-year-old Samantha Fletcher, stumbles through the grass, aimlessly peering in the windows and the door of the home. Startled, the homeowner calls 911 about the suspicious driver. When officers arrive at the residence, Samantha has already driven off into the night. Fortunately, it doesn't take officers long to locate her. They find Samantha driving down a rural stretch of road and are only able to stop her after they use their cruiser to box her in. Where is it at? Do you know where the key is? Definitely. Yeah. Sweetheart, hang on just a minute, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know where the key is? No. Okay, can you step out for just a minute? Let me find the key and let me make sure your kids are okay. Do you know where you're at? Yes. Where are you at? Do you know where you're at? Yes. Where? On the road back home. Okay, where is home? Do you know where home is? Yes. Where? Do you know what your address is? Yes. Which, which is what? I don't have the answer. You don't have the answer? No. Okay, do you have any ID? Tell me where it is. Don't. I don't want you to go in the car for it. I don't have the answer. All right, well, hold, hold tight. Stay right there. Yeah. Oh. It seems Samantha also brought her dog along for this strange drive. Hey, just, just hold on. Just hold, hold on. on. You're fine. Right there. You're fine. What's your name? Are you okay? Samantha isn't eager to talk now, but she'll have plenty to say later. You guys okay? Okay. Or are you living in your car? Can you answer me? Do you live in this town? Do you know where you're at? I know where I'm at. Where's that? Okay. Is that where you're at right now? No. I need to know if you have somebody that can help you come figure out what's going on with your kids and with you. Are you having a medical issue right now? No. Okay. Well, then how come you can't tell me where you're at? Are you embarrassed by what's going on? They said not to answer. Who said not to answer? I mean, we're just trying to help you. And so I I need you to answer. Because I need to figure out what's going on and why you have kids in the car. And is there something medically going on with you? Is there something no, else? No, I didn't want to, like, drive home. I feel dumb. Okay, well, don't feel dumb. We need to figure out what's going on. His dad was like, it's no big deal. Take him home. Okay. Not legal guardian um his mom okay his dad having sex okay detectives take what little information samantha has given them and do some searches to see if they can contact any of the children's fathers to come and collect them if they can't officers will have a big problem on their hands she's still nursing okay. 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 i got husband's phone number mm -hmm. you can get ready to go okay um Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take note of the open containers in Samantha's front seat. They definitely don't help her case. In addition, the officers on scene note that Samantha and her vehicle smell heavily of alcohol. You're fine. I just don't want, I want that front door closed. Oh, I know. Okay. Sorry. Just go back to stand where you were. I think she's nursing one of the babies right now. 
for five. That's what she's working on right now. Is trying to call someone that she's related to. Okay. What do you? Can, can you set the baby down for me? <coughs> what are you doing? <coughs> what are you doing? Can I nurse? Okay, just. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. While nursing an infant, refraining from drinking any alcoholic beverages is ideal, averaging more than one drink per day, which the CDC categorizes as moderate consumption, can be damaging to an infant's development, growth, and sleep patterns. I'm sorry. Hey, come over here. Give him the baby. We got him. Hey, baby. Okay, you're going to come over here. You almost dropped your baby on his head. Yes, I know. Yeah, I had to catch it. The child she nearly dropped is only six weeks old, yet Samantha still has the gall to make this next statement. Yeah. I didn't do anything wrong. Ma'am, keep your hands on the hood. That's just... Are you, are you just detaining her now before we walk? I think we do that. I, I get what you're saying. Just, she just can't get around the kids anymore. Is she, like, in danger of falling herself? No, no, I don't think so. Steady on no. We can put the baby back in the car seat. Yeah. 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 Where could we put the baby? In the car seat. Where it was. Oh, we find you the most precious thing ever. Jim, you almost dropped the baby. Yeah, I'm trying to grab her and hold her. And everyone's yelling. I'm scared. I'm sorry. I didn't do anything wrong. My name is Deputy Winkfield, Alachi County Sheriff's Office. Some people were worried about you, and these deputies found you, and they're a little bit worried about you driving. There's some exercises that we can put you through. Mm -hmm. They're voluntary. Mm -hmm. They're to make sure that you're safe to drive. Okay. Would you be willing to do yes. that for us? Yes. Okay. Hot. Can I move? Oh, you, you don't have. You can put your hands right here if you want. It's not hot right there. Do you hear all my kids? Uh huh. I do. You don't care? No, I do care very much. We're just trying to make sure you're okay and then no, we'll get you out of here, okay? All right. Come stand right here for me. And I would like you to turn and face this way. Face me. The officer explains to Samantha that they're going to run through a few exercises that will help confirm or deny that she's intoxicated. However, Samantha seems to be worried about something else entirely. The camera on the officer's chest. Is that on? I want you to follow this with your eyes, okay? Back up just a little bit. Right there. Watch out, hon. Careful. 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 back. Put your arms back down by your side for me. I'm down by your side, honey. The sheet officers are marking here is the Drug and Alcohol Influence Report, which can be used to support the officer's claim that Samantha is intoxicated, even if she refuses a blood, breath, or urine test. As you can see, Samantha didn't exactly pass it. All right, ma'am, the next one is going to be the walk and turn, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to place your left foot on the watch tape. I want you to place your left foot on the line. I want to place your right foot on the line ahead of your left foot with the heel of the right foot against the toe of the left foot, okay? Mm -hmm. Place your arms down at your side like so. Mm -hmm. Keep this position until I tell you to begin. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Can you look at me? There's two, there's two deputies no, back there. I... Ma'am, we've got two deputies back I mean, there that I are taking his... My stomach. Can you look at I, I can see them from where I'm standing, honey. The deputies back there are taking as good a care of them as they can be taken care of. Okay. okay. All right. Go ahead and, like I had you before, just put your, your toes and your heels together like this. Man, they are fine. I know. I've, I've got just, I, can't, I can't. You can't. You, you don't want to do this? No, I do. I just. Do you want to do these exercises? I do. I just. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Don't start walking until I tell you to. I just want you to get with your right foot in front of your left foot. Like this. Look at look at how I'm standing. No, I know. I'm, I'm messing you up. Just stand just like this. Listen. I can't. I'm... You can't? No, I messed that up. I'm sorry. Okay. Are you, do you want to keep trying or do you want to move on? No, it's okay. Well, I, I don't know what that means. I messed that up. I'm do you want to keep trying this or move on? Uh, we can move on. I'm, you I'm don't want to move up. on. I'm sorry. 
Officers are forced to mark stopped and cannot perform the exercise on the alcohol drug influence report. It's certainly not looking good for Samantha or her kids. This is our last one called the one leg stand. The officer then instructs Samantha on the next test. Do you understand the instructions? Yes, sir. You may begin. Are you going to do the exercise? Because if you say you can't and then you start again, I, you're confusing me a little bit. It, are you going to do it or no? I'm trying. Well, you said you can't, so I'm just trying to make sure that you're going to do it. I'm trying. Okay. This test also proves to be a lost cause. We're going to do one last one. Close your eyes and tilt your head back. Put your arms out like an airplane. Mm -hmm. Count as high as you can until I tell you to stop. Yeah. She doesn't want to take a breath test, which is a shame because if she blew five, we'd charge her with the enhancement. Often, if the subject's BAC is a certain level and there are children in the car, a DUI charge itself could be enhanced to a felony of some sort. Have you ever been in trouble before? No. I'm going to read you some stuff as soon as we get you sat down, okay? But this actually isn't Samantha's first time receiving her Miranda rights, despite her claim. In 2014, when Samantha was just 21, she was arrested for a DUI. Though this is her second time, she still seems to struggle to understand exactly what's happening. So, like, what am I being charged with? DUI. And then... DUI. Can I get, like, let go tonight or no? You'll... We'll talk about that again in just a second. It seems that after officers leave Samantha alone, it all finally starts to sink in. Can I do it now? No, we have to do it at the jail. That's what the law says. With that, the officer takes Samantha to jail. On the way, her strange comments only grow more nonsensical. So at what point do you have your camera on? It is? You have it on right now? You had it on all night, bud. So can I call my husband now? Or y'all won't let me? Oh, yeah, y'all like to control that, don't you? So, are y'all dropping me off to the jail? Thanks, Bubba. Is there anyone coming to get my kids? Yeah, they're going to yeah. probably go to the DCF for the day. Thanks, Bubba. That's the Charlie Station. Can you call my husband? We're trying to, but his phone's going straight to voicemail. The lieutenant that was here, the female lieutenant, she said she's going to keep trying to call him, okay? That means nothing. Can you, like, let me help you call him? No, ma'am. Oh, okay, thanks, bud. Samantha's sarcastic, bitter attitude wanes for just a moment when the severity of the Department of Children and Family Services getting involved hits her. Can I please tell them goodbye? Please, 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 please. I don't want you to... Well, you did this, so... You did. Um, I did not tell you to get in that car. I didn't. I get it drunk, but did you, like, actually handcuff me and prove that I was drunk? Did you? Or do you block it out on your camera? Are you sure? Can we see that, bud? It's safe to say Samantha would probably be comfortable going her whole life without seeing the officer's footage. Back at the scene, officers and deputies scramble to figure out what to do with their children. It sucks, but that breaks my heart that that precious little baby... Instead of resorting to calling DCFS, some of the dedicated officers stayed with the children for over four hours, caring for them and feeding them as they waited for a guardian to arrive. 
and fortunately, a family member took the children into their care. Upon arriving at the jail, Samantha Fletcher refused to take a breath test to measure her blood alcohol content. Ultimately, she was charged with driving under the influence and child neglect.